Hey guys, and welcome back to Eden's Angora. I'm so sorry I'm behind with this week's video. I've been really sick. You can probably still hear it in my voice, but I spent a lot of time catching up on the rabbitry today. So I wanted to give you an update of the rabbits that we have and what it looks like, kind of how we have it set up. Um, it's ever changing and I plan on doing regular updates because I just have infinite ideas <laughs> as to how to make it better. So this is not the final product, but it sure is nice. Um, it's been working really well for us, so I can't wait to show you. Now I have you up here to start because this building will be moving down to the rabbitry. Currently it is filled with all of my rabbit supplies, um, my seasonal items. I just took down the fans for fall, uh, transport carriers, you know, cage wire, extra hay, all sorts of stuff. It is a five by eight storage building and I'm really looking forward to it being down here and putting a grooming area under the covered area there in the front. Um, it's gonna be great. <clears throat> okay, so never mind this gate. <laughs> That's my next project, painting that gate. Um, it would be so cute to put a little sign on it someday. But here is the rabbitry. So first I'm just gonna do a slow pan. Done a lot of organizing here recently. Okay. So I'll show you some of the recent updates. We'll talk about some of the things that I'd like to update to you probably. Um, for biosecurity reasons, now we don't have any other animals allowed to get into here except for the cats, which is great. Um, doing a ton of preventative health stuff with the rabbits now too, which I'll talk about in another video, and just being really careful with them. This is the start of our little rabbit garden. Um, it has basil, sedum, and some marigold right now but I plan on continuing this garden all the way down this side in the front and all the way over here, which is why this is a composting area. We have these great pine trees and they provide the shade for the rabbits. It's really breezy down here and they also give us lots of pine needles to rake up and uh, put into composting. Now this chicken wire is on its way up on the inside of this fence. I want to double fence it all the way around. Um, it's also buried underneath about you know, two feet, I think. Uh, so most of it is completely chicken wired and has some buried on the bottom. We do let our rabbits out of their cages. That's something that's extremely, if not the most important thing to me. So, um, we, they do get out. They get out of these X pens, um, and it's important to have them double fenced for their own safety. So let's start with the tour. This is our new grow out cage. Um, it's going to be wonderful. I call it the treasure chest because I keep all my little treasures in here. We're going to put a metal roof on it, um, uh, but it's eight by two, I think. It has some Flemish babies in it right now. I just moved the Angoras out today because they are just getting way too big. Now we have this eight foot building. You'll probably recognize it. It was on the other side of the house, but here it's nice and shady. It only gets sun in the cooler part of the day. We have the auto water for this grow out cage comes here. And then this five gallon bucket, that system runs all the way down and does these eight holes. We also have some storage up here, which is really, really nice. Love it, my scale. And let's meet some bunnies. Okay, so these are my boys. This is Boots. Um, these are my eight week olds. I groomed like eight of them today, but there's 11. So these are my ungroomed ones I have yet to do. Um, so these are also still available, these three boys and some others. Boots is a real sweetie. 
but they just started really messing up each other's fur so they needed to be separated <coughs> sorry see i am dedicated to my youtube channel <laughs> um these are some more bucks there are two blue eye white one is eden's archangel right there he's staying um no that's archangel that is ace and ace is sold and that little guy is too just so you know don't get your heart set on them um these are some of our californians luna and mac and then down here we have blossom in the back and one more little sweetie she looks just like her grandma diamond I know this is supposed to be a rabbitry tour, not showing you every rabbit I have. I'm gonna speed it up. There's Sky. There's some girls from my last litter. And Yogi. You all know Yogi. And I like that he positioned this um, conglomerate that includes a lot of rabbits really close to the grooming area. My friend Mindy gave me this nice table because our previous table was horrible and this is just so beautiful and perfect. So I love, um, I have electric running down to here and then I could just pick up my blower, put that on the table and start carting rabbits back and forth really easily. Then you know our double hutch back there that has lightning and whisper in it right now. This is my current feeding situation, which is epic, might I add. <laughs> this is all my feeds um, that I have organized in these weatherproof bins. And then I just can cart everything around using this little handy dandy easy rower. Um, <laughs> okay, so now there's this section of the rabbitry. This is basically for Tippy. I mean, it is massive. I don't even know how many feet, but it's really hard to get scale on it. It's her big exercise pen. We don't let the Angoras go in here because um, I don't want them getting dirty. I'm a snob about that. So this is Tippy, our Flemish giant. And she just had a litter. Let's see, I'm showing you bunnies again. Oh no. She just had a litter uh, by a grand champion Flemish buck. So excited from Woods Mill. There you go, a little shout out. And she just had these guys yesterday. So she just had a litter of oh, little bellies. Okay, I can't help but bother them. I always say I'm going down to bother the bunnies when I go to the rabbitry because I, I do. I bother them. Um, she had eight. So excited to watch them grow and show them. So another angle of things. It's a little gate so I can just take Tippy, plop her in there. And then I get out all the toys and houses and everything that go in this pen. But I do clean those up because I rake it regularly. Then here is the Angora play area. That is rubber matted. We'll get new mats someday. Today's not that day. But we have rubber mats in here and then a sandbox for them, which is currently covered um, whenever they're not using it. It's gonna be covered, but I'll show you that someday uncovered. Obviously our hose, a little tree nursery, because I would love to plant some trees outside of this sunny area because there's too much sun that gets in here. So we have some chestnut trees, some apple trees. It's very exciting. Um, and here's the sitting area here. So you can sit on either end of the rabbit tree and watch the rabbits. It's definitely my happy place. And this is our other brand new addition is this 15 gallon waterer which we have hooked up the system and it runs all the way. It does every single one of these gray hutches. It stops at lightning. And then we have the two more systems down there. So with three buckets, the entire rabbitry is watered three quarters of the year. Um, so that's pretty cool. 
So I just want to show you Eclair real quick before we go because she's just gorgeous. I know, I love bothering bunnies. I love it. And she is due, just make sure she didn't have them. Nope, she's due. She's like, what are you doing messing with my nest? Pretty girl. She's due like now. So that's pretty exciting. All right, so let's just sit down here for a minute. So our new additions are the, the watering system here, which has made our life so much easier. And I recently figured out the rubber mat thing, which I think is really cool. Also, all of our rabbits are now in one place, which I love. We don't have them separated, but it does make preventative measures a lot more important. You definitely need to keep a handle on things because if somebody gets wool mites or somebody gets worms or um, sick, then it can easily spread in a situation like this. And I would consider that a downside. Um, but it's okay because it's nice and convenient and very, very safe. And Rose, our rabbit guardian, is right there protecting the, the field side. So there's not any predators that are going to get in here. We also encourage the cats to be in the rabbitry. I feed them in here now um, to discourage mice and rats because, again, they can actually mess with your rabbits. I have had them take chunks out of my rabbit's ears, my baby rabbits. Um, so, and actually a few lops. It wasn't just babies. Um, yeah, so that was not fun times, but we're definitely learning. I'm three years into this rabbitry. I did breed rabbits as a teenager from 14 to 17 too, but I'm learning so much more this time around. And it's really been great. <clears throat> My recent um, exploration has been how many Angoras can I have without being overwhelmed? I just love bunnies, so I ended up getting a few more breeds that I could show um, because I can only keep up with so many Angoras, but I always have to hit my limit periodically and then scale back uh, so that I'm sure that I'm, I'm having as many Angoras as I can have, especially really trying to focus on my yarn business in the coming two years. I have a two-year plan with that. So since I finally achieved my goal after three years of having blue eye whites at the rabbitry, um, they're going to be a big part of things. So I, d I am going to keep Archangel back as um, he's Sky's son and he's going to be Sky's um, I don't want to say replacement, but I'm no longer going to breed Sky. I don't think. Since I want to focus on improving the body type of the breed, and Archangel has amazing body type. Like, really. I'm really proud of him. So, he's going to be the new big boy on campus. And then I'm keeping back um, his two sisters both of these does are gonna stay so that we have white wool again um, so those are just some of our plans I know you didn't ask for that but I just what is this a speck on my rabbit um, yeah I like to keep you guys up to date on what's going on here I think that's pretty fun there's Sky, our little honey bun, who will continue to wow us with his wool. You know he produced, last winter when I shaved him, he produced nine ounces of wool. Nine. For a colored German, that is really good. So anyway, he's amazing. Can't guarantee I won't use him anymore for breeding, but if I don't, I'm thinking about some therapy stuff. Now, Yogi is a very rare sable, 
German and I just bred him to whisper um, yesterday. So I am expecting some sables out of that cross. That's amazing. And I will be keeping um, at least two sable does if I can get them from that litter. And then here's beautiful Lightning McQueen, who is the father of Eclair's litter that's due today. So I know I got a little off topic, but it's kind of nice to get an update every once in a while. What's going on? Also, also, we carry the rabbits um, wherever we're taking them. I usually carry them in that basket and that's been super helpful and helped me feel like they're safer um, so, especially when I'm carrying groups of babies, that's a little tip that I saw someone else had one on their, at their rabbitry. They actually had like one in front of every hutch, but I didn't feel like I needed to do that. I just, uh, I've been really enjoying the one that I have. So this is it. We have our little unfancy pallet gate, but it's secure. No bunnies are going to be escaping. And honestly, like when I had them in the yard, I used to put their X pens out here, which is just incredible for them. But they got out all the time, really. It was not fun for me or Nick chasing them down all the time. So now they're nice and secure. There's our electric that runs from the house. Um, so they can have their fans. They will have heat lamps if I breed them this winter. I'm thinking about taking the winter off, but if I do breed them, they'll have heat lamps and the power is also there for the blower. But that's, that's what's going on. So drop any questions uh, that you have in the comment section below and please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more of what we get up to here at Eden's Angora. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye.